Hello everybody, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box. And in case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there in the description bar below the video. So let's go ahead, open this up, and see what we have. First we have the Dollar Bead Bag. And oh my gosh, there's a lot of opaque colors in here, which is awesome because it's my favorite. I love opaques and I love Picasso finishes. They're my favorite. That green is epic. I love the green. Okay, so splitting up the sizes. These are threes. Three millimeters and four. All right. In the top we have beige luster, which is obviously this one. This is cool. I've seen this color called so many different things. Every bead store that I've seen online calls it something different because I've seen this in seed bead finishes, all different sh shapes of beads. I've seen it in check leaves and uh, not one place calls it the same and it's, it's kind of getting frustrating, you know, because if you want to buy like a certain color, you go online, you put it in, you expect it to pop up so you can reorder it, but you know, everybody calls it something different and it's, it's kind of it's aggravating. Alright, so this is uh, Beige Luster, this is a 3mm, and since the same one is right here in the 4, same exact color, yes, that's what they look like. It's very pretty. I like it, it's antique looking. And then there is Opaque Lime Green, which is my favorite in the box. This is gorgeous, love this, and it also comes in the 4, which I'm really, really happy about. Those are beautiful. And then we have Blue Zircon, which is obviously this one. And I've been seeing... Wait a second. We'll pick... What's lime green? Opaque Robin Egg Blue with blur zir Blue Zircon. Okay. Opaque Robin's Egg Blue with Blue Zircon. That's a very long name. I've been seeing this zircon finish on a lot of things. I got a lot of rondelles a few months ago with this finish on it, but it didn't say zircon. But I know it's not Aurora Borealis because of how it looks. And it's pretty neat. Okay, next thing is Raspberry Copper, which is this one. Oh, I got this in the 4mm last month, right? I think I actually used it in a project wasn't it? Wasn't it? Is this bead coated? No, it's not. I thought I used it in that necklace, but maybe not. It's very pretty. I like the copper on it. And then we're going to the 4mm and there's opaque lime green, which was this one. And then there's the turquoise half bronze luster. This one. Turquoise half bronze luster. What? But this one is so similar to this one. The finish on. Hmm. They both look like they have bronze on them to me. So, anyways, I love this. Turquoise is gorgeous. And then there is. Um. Where's it at? Crystal Half Silver. Which I normally known as Half Labrador. Because half of it's clear and half of it's silver. It's a neat bead. I think I actually have a lot of these in my stash right now. I keep getting them in subscription boxes. Man, they are flashy. Bling bling. Alright, so this is a bag. I'm going to put everything back. And this is May 2020 bag. And now we're going to go to the box. Okay, so here are the goodies in the box. And I'm going to sort the strands. Ooh, look at the rondelles. I'm really excited about those rondelles. There's another strand. Oh, those are awesome. Okay. So, starting off with the strands. We're looking for a 6mm Czech Glass Pearl, which is this Purple Velvet Rainbow Iris. I've been using this color a lot in the, um, designs that I've been doing with the subscription box. I used it in a 2 and 3 millimeter, I think. Man, the 6 is gorgeous. 
This is such an epic color. And then we have 4mm Czech Glass Pearl. <gasps> Whoa! Rainbow White. I have never seen a pearl like this. I hope this is showing up on camera. It's definitely rainbow. I see purple pink in it. It is so cool. I really hope my camera is showing it. Maybe it will pop up more next to the purple. It's like pinkish purple. That is the prettiest white pearl I've ever seen. Those are cool. Okay, it's like an AB, Aurora Borealis Pearl. It's, it's just so cool. Alright, next thing is 2.5 by 4 millimeter Czech Glass Rondelle. Jet Tematite. These. These are awesome. I keep using these in weaving. They're awesome in weaving because they are perfectly uniform. And they're actually like the same size as an 80C bead. And then they have this really neat shape, so they work great in weaving projects. They also have like a really nice size hole, so you can pass to them several times. Okay, and I've actually got that bead in a smaller size that I used, I think it was in a ring project. And then, moving on, we are looking for, uh, where was I? 2mm Czech Glass Pearl. This. Teal. This is pretty color. This is the first time I've seen this color, and it's epic with this. The white too. Those are pretty together. I like those. And then, um, 4 by 6 millimeter Czech Glass Rondelle Siam Travertine. Yes, these are awesome. These are to die for, and these are pricey beads. Yeah, you can go onto the dollar bead and buy this strand for like a dollar. And there's this other bead store that I love for their Czech beads, but they are pricey. And every time I order for them, I always make sure I use a com uh, coupon because they're so expensive. But anyways, if I were to buy this strand from that bead store, it would probably be like five or six dollars. No lie. Especially because it has the travertine finish on it. Okay, and this is probably going to be next. 3 by 5 millimeter Czech Glass Rondelle Royal Purple. What? These are different sizes? 4 by 6 and 3 by 5. Well, that's super close in size. And you know what? They would probably work for the same project because they are so close in size. It probably wouldn't matter. I've also used these a lot to make rings. I think I used these in a romantic beaded ring tutorial. That was a cool ring. I wonder if I have a picture of that up in my uh, computer that I could show you guys. I, had a, I put a rose in the middle of it. Hopefully it's the same bead that I used in it. I think it is. And then these here are the 6 by 10 millimeter Czech Glass Drop Gold Acid Wash. Awesome. I've been using teardrops a lot lately. Those are pretty. And I think the acid wash beads are holding the plating much better than just the regular glass beads. Okay, moving on to the things in the bag. What is that? That's going to be interesting. Okay, 5 by 7 millimeter Chinese crystal top drilled briolet drop. Crystal AB, there's going to be four. That's these. These would be perfect in that pendant I just did a tutorial on, where I used four teardrops, because you only need four. Okay, and then we're looking for five millimeter, wait, did I just jump? I did. Uh, 14 millimeter Czech glass of flour, red and copper wash. Two pieces. What? What? Oh, this, this. I love these. They're beautiful. I'm happy they, they're giving these flowers out because they're like my currently my uh, most favorite Czech flower. They are epic and they do not look glass. They actually look like they're plastic. Because I have a bunch of plastic beads that are gorgeous like this, that are uh, an opaque color with gold and the details, and they're very detailed with their designs, and um, they're plastic, but they look like, you know, they're really fancy. 
Okay, next thing is 5mm check glass hexagon matte gold. These. You know, these have really big holes. We can use them on 1mm cord and I think even 1.5mm cord. Which is awesome. And they totally look metal. You can't tell the glass. Which is funny. And you know, I think these would be awesome with chain mail. Make a little design. It would probably have to be a pendant. Mm, what could I do? It'd probably have to be like a pendant because there's not many of them, but I have got them several times. But can you imagine connecting them together with jump rings into a shape like this? Like, I, I wish I had enough to make a diamond shape. That would be cool. Earrings would be awesome. Next thing is 14 millimeter pewter abstract star. These, whoa, these have huge holes. These are so big, but you can put them onto paracord. Really big holes. Or you could pass several cords through them, which I like doing stuff like that. You can also just string these onto a chain. Them are neat. Them are neat. And I said they're pewter. Yeah. 16 by 26 millimeter pewter rectangle. This, so I got this before, but I got it in the uh, antique brass. And I wanted to bead on it the last time that I got it, but I did it because I think the beads I had in the last, or in, that, or in that box, it was not the last box that I got. But um, I think the beads that I had didn't go with the pendant, so I couldn't come up with the design. But maybe I can use them in this box. I don't know, I'll see when I go to create something. But yeah, I wanted to bead this last time. That is a really thick piece of metal, by the way. Look at that. It's like, it's thicker than a millimeter. Maybe two millimeters thick? And then we have 12 millimeter check glass swirl button. This, Christian Morel. Mario? Hope I say that right. Does it have a metal shank? No, oh, it's a glass shank. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at that. I like this a lot. So I'm kind of learning that I have to store all of my glass buttons that are like this, where they have sharp edges. I have to store them in their own individual bags. The cup buttons, those are fine all together, okay? They're actually sold all together. But check buttons like this, you have to store them separately because they will chip each other. They chip each other, so yeah, learn that. The next thing is... 14 by 16 millimeter bamboo coral pink. These, oh my gosh. These are cool. I love coral beads. They're kind of hard to find. One time I went to a flea market and I found a strand of pink coral nuggets. And um, I've used it a couple times in my designs, but um, I actually ended up taking them apart. Because I'm not happy with the designs, but, uh, yeah, they're some of my favorite beads to work with. Next thing is, I want to know what this is. 42 millimeter vintage resin bead. Color and design varies. Oh, that's going to be this. It's resin. Yeah, so I, I think it's kind of just like a plastic bead. But it is pretty darn cool. I think it would be neat with wire on it. W wrapped in wire would be cool. We'll probably have to do like a 24 gauge though to take on the curves of it because it's a very curvy bead. See all the curves in it? It's neat. It's very unique. Okay. Two things left. I really like these. Is this going to be the next thing? Or is this? 6mm pewter spacer antique brass. Six of them. Ooh. 
these are nice they have nice large holes hey are these the same size as those hexagon beads you know these here might be able to be used with these because they're like the same size hole even though these are here just a little bit bigger but um, I wonder if I could use these with these and make some earrings with some jump rings And then this is the last thing, 7 inches of check glass beaded chain, mint opal. Well, this is not the last thing, there's a bonus item. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So, in a previous subscription, I got a chain like this, but it was like a sapphire blue bead that had stripes in it. It was really pretty. This is actually, it's 7 inches, so this is already the perfect length to make into a bracelet. So all you have to do is put a jump ring on each end, or split ring, and a clasp, and it's ready to wear right now. Or, let's see, is that, it's, these are the same, yeah, oh that one's different. That one, I think, should actually be a square bead. If the pattern's correct. Yeah, there's a square bead here. That's strange. Anyways, I'll say you could split it in half and they could be earrings because if that's the biggest bead on the bottom, that would be cute. All right, so here's everything. Oh wait, this, I forgot this. Soft flex beading wire, not tying stainless steel nylon coated. Awesome. It's a 10 pound test, 10 feet, 21 strands. Mm. This wire is so incredible. I love their crimp tubes. It's so soft and flexible, and it does not kink like r regular bead string wire. So I'm happy to have it, especially since this stuff is so pricey. It is pricey, but it's pricey because it's like the best quality. Well, I'll fix that later. So this is all of the stuff I got in the subscription box. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I have to put the beads together and see what I can come up with. But um, the beads are gorgeous. Here is the bag of Czech fire polish beads. And yeah, I'll see what I can do. If there's a bead here or something here you would like me to use in a tutorial, let me know and I'll see if I can use it or not. Alright. Oh, and tell me what do you want to see me make? A necklace, bracelet, earrings, ring? Let me know and I'll see what I can do. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I will leave a link for the subscription down there below in the description bar. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.